Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of All The Mods 4. This episode we're going to actually not do what I was planning to do last time, which is to make the oil processing for uh, silent mechanism, but I would like to do some more work with um, Industry 4 going. As far as I can see, there is there are no up speed upgrades for the sower, it's just slow. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do set up some animal processing for this. So let's get started. What I like to do is to... I've got some animals in here, some cows and some sheep. I'm not sure whether that's an, a sensible lot of animals to have, but what we'll do is we would like to uh, make some machines. I'd like to make some fertilizer, and we do that from the uh, industrial foregoing sewage works, as it were. <laughs> so let's have a look at what we've got for foregoing. We've got a set of machines. In fact, did I pick it up or not? I had a game crash. Uh, is it? The silliness if you actually restart your game and like this, if I restart the game, I wanted to take this one out of here. If I restart the game, um, or just save and quit again, you tend to lose a, a state if the game crashes, and it, it sort of really it doesn't sort of crash, it just sort of freezes. So I'll let those things process. I was going to put a couple more pieces of wood into here, I need some wood anyway, so I'll put in two. And that, that can start carrying on. But it looks like we've got plenty of um, plastic. So if I just use, say, the uses of this one, we should be able to get 64 of these, which, of course, will make 64 pieces of plastic. And that's the only use of these, as far as I can see, uses. Yeah, only use of those is to make plastic. I might as well make the plastic. Close the door so we don't get a, a slow worm coming into our base. I've actually got a reasonable amount of plastic already, 29. Maybe it's enough for what I want to do. So there are some interesting things in here. They've got this thing called mechanical dirt. Um, and you can make this in the dissolution chamber. I think we've made one of these already. I'm not quite sure what it does, but I guess that it speeds up growth. But it's got a sewer, um, which we'll make. So what we do, we need some iron and some buckets and these pretty machine frames. I thought that actually, I actually right, so got six, six pretty machine frames, so I didn't lose that bit of work, I did. So I will need some bricks, and I guess rid of this stuff while I'm thinking about it. I'll leave this with me. Oh, by the way, rotting flesh. Yes. I haven't talked about this very much, but I've got these spruce slabs in here. I think if I take three across like this, it'll make a drying frame. Let's do the recipe for that again. Let's take all five of these. And what you can do with this, so let's put them, I, don't, I think we can put them down here, looks like we can. We can put rotting flesh onto these, and the, the rotting flesh will then turn into sort of some form of uh, mechanism for making leather. So you can make some leather with those. I don't know where to put the others at the moment, my little area here is a bit on the full side, <laughs> as you can see. Um, tell you what, let's put the other three down here. Probably not a very good place, but one in. Try and get one in here, one in here, and one in here, and then we can put at least one of these up here like that, and it'll turn slowly into. It doesn't take very long actually, like that, and you get this zombie leather. And the uses of the zombie leather is you can make leather, and uh, so it's a fairly cheap way of making leather because you're getting a lot of rotting flesh. Uh, except for trading, there's not much else you can do with the rotting flesh. Flesh. So let's just um, let's get this things sorted out so I would like to make a um, I'll try making some mechanical dirt what do we need for that two rotting flesh and two dirt and a petty new machine frame and something else what was a mist of something else looks like something in the bottom of here liquid meat okay I don't have to get liquid meat so I'll have to leave that for the time being so I'll make a sewer so we need four bricks um, two plastic one bit okay and couple of gears we're going to need a few gears how many items I've got 12 that's probably do actually let's put it up like this and that'll make I need some more because we need to make some more buckets I think so buckets in the recipe so what do we need we need to smelt some of this out should be able to smelt out a stack of this without too much problem when this is finished um, let's see, I'll do it now actually because we'll need this before we need the where's it gone to I think it's quicker. 
I think we needed two buckets, so we'll wait, wait for six of these and then the rest can do themselves automatically. Like that. Is that five, six? That's what we need for two buckets. On place. So. So the sewer. Maybe I know what's up. Sewage composter sewer. So we need to make one of these. We need four bricks. Have we got bricks around? I think I have actually. We'll take the stone out to the other to too. We've got plenty of stone at the moment. Put the stone back into here like this. Bricks. I've got plenty of clay. I'll make some bricks. Um, I'll halve it. Put half in there and put half in the other. Because the other furnace is busy at the moment. And um, we need four of those. How's it doing? It's working away. It's working its way nicely through that, isn't it? So we should have one. Nearly got three, four bricks. That'll finish off this almost at the same time. So we should be able to make the sewer. Like this. And I guess the sewer is going to output stuff, so we'll probably need a sewage composter. The only thing I have a problem with at the moment is how to move fluids around it. The only way I know of doing this is by um, using um, simple uh, refined storage. What's it called? Call something, didn't I? So that was a bucket for that. I'm going to close the door. It looks like it's coming up towards evening time. Um, sewage composter so we need two pistons uh, and two more okay bricks no problem we've got those on the way um, need another eight of those three planks one give me five so that'll do That's enough planks, I'll make enough for three pistons. Um redstone and iron, don't we? Of course I've got no iron in there. I've got iron down here, so that's right, and redstone. We need some redstone, so let's make some pistons up. Now I can actually remember the recipe for this. We need two pistons, don't we? Move the rest of the stuff out to the way. So we should be able to make the composter now. Oh no, bricks. I forgot to get the bricks out of here. Try again. And I guess this thing needs power. I'm not sure whether the sewer needs power. We'll find out. Um, we've got baby animal separators. We've got plant fertilizer. This is really what I want. So a glass bottle's no big deal. We can get that fairly easily from fishing as it happens. I think I've already got some from fishing. Every time that thing produces um, some so some silk, it, silk cocoon. In fact, might as well take an axe out of here too for that matter, because I'm using a stone axe from time to time, which is fine. Can I drink the water from this? Will it help? Yes, it will, good. I can get an empty bottle. <laughs> I'm not sure it does me any good, but uh, it certainly helps this particular recipe. So what do we need for this one? We need the fertilizer. It's all about the fertilizer, really. See if we can get these things going up faster. So we need another iron gear. Fertilizer. And we needed some more leather, didn't we? Now, leather, I do have some leather. Three. In fact, we might as well just do another piece of rotting flesh. Um, put it on the rotting flesh on here to get the fourth of these and then we get rid of that from our inventory. The, the other one should be ready down here anyway. So now we should be able to make the th plant fertilizer. Like this. And this is basically what will fertilize it. We need fertilizer for that and this is this thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to do it, so we'll, it's night time, I'll have a quick sleep and come back in a second. Right, here we are. So, it's been a long time since I've done this. 
but what I remember is you put the fertilizer underneath. I think it either goes under the under a block underneath the animals or on the on the ground somewhere like this. Let's just try it and see what happens. Sewer. So it does need power. That's a bit of a nuisance, and it will fluid amounts. I'm not exactly sure there are any recipes in this one. Sewage essence. Show working area. All right, it's got a working area of one block above it. So we need to upgrade this one. And we'll put it in the middle of the farm. So we've got one, two, three, I guess, in each direction. So that that looks like the middle of the f of the animal farm. So I'll bring the sewer here. And we'll put uh, some dirt in. Put the dirt back in here and put the sewer in here. I think it'll be fine. I'm a bit short on this side here. We can move this back one. I think we can move this back one. Yes, we can do. We'll do that off off camera, so to speak. So we need a, a plus two, I think, is the size we need for this. To capture all the sewage from the animals. Um, so that's a plus one. Plus two is made with lapis lazuli, redstone and glass plane. So I'll have a look at that one. Lapis lazuli. Glass planes, I'll take this out of the field by the way, I don't need that in there. Put it into here where it belongs. A lapis lazuli. Um, and while I'm thinking about this, let's just make a little piece of leather up like that. Lapis lazuli is in here, of course. Four of those, half that'll do. Glass planes, I was looking for, and redstone. We needed two redstone, we've got redstone with us. Glass planes, where are they gone to? Don't know. I must have some glass around though. Mm. No problem. Right, I'll have to make some glass. I haven't got any glass around. So stone should be in here. So sand, let's just do half a stack. Let's do 20. This should be finished now. So let's take those out of there and put the sand into there. And we'll get, we need six pieces I'm sure I've got some somewhere. I wonder if I've got it in one of these bags. No, not in that one. And definitely not in that one. So we need six pieces of sand, uh, glass I mean, a redstone, and that'll do it. And we'll put four. It goes fast enough just to wait for it, I think. Even if it just had a little lag spike there. Right, six. I probably should I probably should set up some simple storage around here to set to be able to find this stuff a bit quicker. Right, so we've got everything we need now to put this through the distillation chamber, which I think is the end one of these, isn't it? Yes it is. So we need two pieces of glass, two pieces of redstone and a four piece of lapis. Should start we've got latex already in here because it's coming from the from the side and that should be enough to make hopefully it'll keep coming what's it doing now I only asked it to make one made two okay I want those out of there as it happens didn't expect that maybe that's part of the recipe so let's try again uh, put the upgrade into here like this Show the working area Oh and one block here too short and Okay That's no big deal. We can put some fences down here just to keep the animals in um, I'll do that off camera. So this just needs power now. So we're going to do the same thing as before We've got some power over here uh, from this one and we've got some cables or wires. Let's just go make some more. I'll make some more and come back in a second. So what I'm just going to do is just going to dig down here two blocks, and we're going to drag the wire through there. So I'm going to go. I'm going to bring, come out here like this. I'm just going to go across to where the other wire comes out. A bit slow. I probably should use a shovel for doing this, <laughs> but it's not very far through. So it doesn't matter that much. And then we have the wires down here like that. So what I'll do is I'll just take this wire here and I'll bring it across. 
and at the same time when I go back I'm going to fill in the hole above it like this so we can do this and it doesn't take very long oh hello cow <laughs> oh no all my animals have fallen down here I've got to get them out now brilliant it probably isn't too difficult it probably looks more difficult than it's going to be and in fact it's going to be difficult but in here while I was doing this I made a mistake I should have taken these leads out if I've got four leads in here like this and just grab them and we can bring them up here like one did I catch one yes I did it should come out of here come out good and then we can tie them off to one of these posts like that and we can do the same with this sheep here and tie her off to that there another one's come out of here oops missed it no nearer huh good let's get you out of there oh look there's a monster behind me I want to tie you off to that one there this thing over here is actually rather nasty if you get anywhere near these things they attack and they attack are very aggressive so what we can do is we can kill it <laughs> as you can see it's, it's got a lot of protection and then it drops these things uh, chitin now chitin the use of that is basically armor and it's actually very good armor too just slightly below gold so as an early game if you can't go bother to be bothered fishing it's a pretty way, good way of doing this right one more one more cow to tie up here come over here you come over here like that. and that'll keep them that'll keep them out of the range of this thing so it's night time again i'm coming back in a second it's morning so there are a few mobs around i don't think this one's see me because i'm too far away Oops. we can sort of go and get them i wonder if i can shoot through that gap now well there's quite a few mobs down here so let's just deal with them oh enchanted armor probably creepers as well no they're gone good I saw a few, a few dying. I just, I don't really don't know why I bother doing that. To be honest with you, just hack it. So let's carry on with this little exercise here before I run out of time. Now, now the cows have gone out of the way. Let's move this out of here and put the wire down. So we'll just do alternatively putting this down like this. Now they. The sewer is here. So if we go down here, I only have to go back one block, I think. Yes, that's what do. I'm going to take it down one block so we can put dirt on top of it. Like this. And that should now have power. Let's have a look. No power. Why not? Ah, because I probably haven't. That's green. Oh, it needs to be orange, doesn't it? I need to colour it so it goes orange. And therefore I need the wrench, which I haven't got with me. Yes. Actually, I wonder if I've got the wrench in my bag. It's the sort of thing I should keep in a bag. Nope. I'll be back in a sec when I've got the wrench. Right, I've got the wrench. So I should be able to right click this. I do forget to do that, to be honest with you. I think it's because normally you don't expect cables to have a flow. How's that doing? Full of power, great. So now it should start to be producing sewage, which it has done. So the next problem is, how do I use this to make fertilizer? Sewage, com sewage compressor, I guess. If we put the sewage compressor beside it, I wonder if this also needs power it does indeed so we can put another cable up to this one uh, a wire in this case they call them in this mod okay fine and then we have to right click this one to make it an input or an output for inches here and that should all I need to do without even being able to see it no we can't so now we should be able to force this sewer here to push fluid. Now which way is it going to push it? So we get empty essence. I hope this is the way we're going to do it. 
So sewage. Now we need to push this in one of these directions. Let's have a look. That's left. That's the bottom. That's the front. I'm not sure which the sides are. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's tell you what we'll do. Let's just select the front. Um, and that pushes it. No. It's not the front. Okay, that's because you can see the fluid is still here. Um, right. No. Left. Yes. So it's left side. <laughs> Turn this back off. So all the sewage has gone out here. And all, so straight away we're getting fertilizer. Great. So now, we've got to do the next thing is actually bring some more wire and stuff to the, to the fertilizer. What you normally do with industrial foregoing is put the fertilizer machine on the opposite side of the, of the of where you're actually farming, um, because of the way that it all it works. So we need to put it over here somewhere, which of course means I need to run cables and I th one. It was a four range, wasn't it? So here will be the, yes, you can see there's already something planted here. I did put this down like that. So we have to put this, the fertilizer, the plant fertilizer. Right. And this will go for going, you put it in the direction you want it to be. So that's the front, okay. So then it'll need fertilizer in cabling. I'll be back in a second when I've cabled it all up. Ha, huh. you'll notice over here, I've got a little visiting party here, which is going to be a bit of a nuisance for me. <laughs> Especially while doing this, uh, I can probably sort them out fairly quickly though. Ooh, ooh, it's going to be a horse in the way, and actually, I'll get rid of that guy okay. and that one. I think I obviously have got the best thing to do with this. If you want to get rid of these guys without them hurting you, is go behind this one here because they're stupid enough to actually shoot themselves. So I shoot, I don't want to shoot him, but I'll shoot this guy here. Yeah, there you go. How am I doing for health? Like that. If I just stand behind him, I forgot my shield with me. I've got my shield with me. No, I haven't. <laughs> I should really just keep him behind like that. You see the shooting him. I don't want to kill the banner guy. I want him to kill the banner guy. You see, like that. Just keep going around. I better eat because <laughs> I'm getting hurt. I should really go and get my shield. Yeah, the banner guy's in front, which is good. Tell you, I'm going to get my shield. Come back a second. <laughs> what a visit, huh? Oops, if I thought she survived getting there, this goes. My shield's really good for this stuff. And it has a, there's an enchant for the shield. I might do um, a shield. I think I put into one of these, probably th this chest here. You did, look. Oh, that's the wrong one. So I can hold him. Oops. Let's put the shield up here. Like that. And he'll just shoot. Now, as they shoot, so he'll actually backfire on him, I think. No, it's not doing it at the moment. It's a bit of a nuisance. I have to get past him. This is the other guy, isn't it? Right. Let's run. Well, that's a little bit of an unexpected excitement. I don't want him to... Where's the other one? I want him to get the banner man. I don't think... Oh, maybe the banner man's disappeared. I can only see this guy. Right, we'll kill him. I can't. Th oh, there's a red dot over there. All right, I'll leave him. So anyway, let's carry on this. So I've basically prepared this space down here, cabled it up, and of course, so then I've got to change the, the color of this. So it's actually orange. It's not red. Um, blue. I mean, it's orange for output. Like that. So that will get power. As you can see, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a little access way like this because I would like to be able to get to here. Uh, this is useful for us because we can then um, be distracted, of course, because I've been attacked. So if I just fill in this area here like this, yeah, that'll do. We can just put some ladders down here. 
behind this and then we can just drop down and go into this space so I put some ladders here I've made some birch ladders and um, which is just basically ladders I can come up like that and then we can fill all the rest of this in which I'll do let's try again there we go like that so we just got a little hole here for that uh, I've got some fishing <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm well and truly spiked, aren't I? And you'll notice that the, the crops are not getting planted where they expect them to be. Because I've put onto here the gold seeds on these two spaces. And gold seeds are coming out, I think, mixed in with inferium seeds. There's inferium seeds, inferium seeds, inferium seed, gold seeds here. So it's not exactly where I'd expect it to. Maybe it's okay, I'm not 100% sure. So now we want to get some fertilizer into this and that'll make the crops grow fast so here we've got the now i need to get a way to get this stuff out of here but maybe 27 that's quite a long time as it happens let's try it put the fertilizer in here like that then it'll start to fertilize these crops in this area but of course i need to make another upgrade well i've done that in the past so i won't bother doing that i don't think we do have time so let's make a, a tier three one of these, I think it's tier three because it's the same as the other ones. I will check what we've actually got into this. Um, here, so we are using the tier four, tier four one. I don't remember what tier four was, but we'll soon find out. I can eat now, can't I? But to do that as well. So tier four is one, two, three, four. So that's just iron nuggets. Very easy. So pentaglass got that. Two redstone. I've got an egg from somewhere which I don't want. Oh, put this. Shift click that. I'll get rid of the egg in here for the time being. Oh. Oh, okay. So I did get the banner, the guy did get killed somehow or other, but not by me. Fantastic. So let's put the banner up here out of the way. Because you can see I haven't got the bad omen enchant. That's good. Phew. So that, anyway, that's one way to do it. I should always keep a shield with me as well. So, right. Tier 4, we need um, iron nuggets. We've got iron nuggets, we've got glass, and we've got redstone. okay in fact i think i'm not i'm going to test this out now we'll see if this what i'm thinking will actually work we should be able to put this into the hopper so if i put four of those in the hopper two and two of these it should automatically put everything in the right place which it has done and make for us um a tier four upgrade i wonder if it's going to make two it is going to make two. That's interesting. Well, I've got enough plastic, so I'm going to turn off the plastic from here. So we'll just um, turn off. I don't remember which side it is. <laughs> um, I can pull it, can't I? If I pull it, then it's going to come in from that way. If I push it, it's going to go back into this machine. No, it must be the other side let's take it out of this side here is I think they're exactly the opposite of the way I want to so I want to push that into there and pull pull it from the other side is that going up yes that's going up good so we should have our two upgrades is that the right recipe let's have a look at this it doesn't say it makes two so maybe that's a bug maybe it's because I've got two sets of things anyway Two does make sort of sense because it would help. So right, let's put in the range upgrade for one of these to four. So that's going to do the whole of this area, and you can see, let's get rid of this stuff like this. It does exactly the right area, so it hasn't really changed since MFR. So that's pretty good, and it's it should use this. I don't think that uh, fertilizer we could. The only way I think we can transport items easily is with the way I've been doing it. 
with um, simple storage or conveyor belts. Now, let's have a look at that. We're still a little bit of time, not very much. Conveyor belt, six conveyor belts for six pieces of plastic. It's sort of expensive, isn't it? But it's probably not too much. So we'd need to get the stuff. We need to get the fertilizer from over here. Uh, if I can do it underground, it would be great. If I could take it underground here like that and then move it across. But I reckon there's quite a few bits and pieces to do that. The other way to do it is simple storage is the way I've been doing it just recently. So let's just turn this off. I, I, oh, it is working because it's gone down a bit now, hasn't it? Um, so I'll have to find a way to get that in. I'll think about that between episodes. So my little fuel animals are doing really well in this. How much have they made now? Another 11 uh, fertiliser. So I hope this makes these crops grow a lot faster than they have been doing. I will have to take some out because this thing is getting... Oh, got another fertiliser. No, we had the same one, didn't we? Got three gold essence now. Uses of that, we need eight and it'll make six gold ingots. Oh, four gold ingots. Okay, not as generous as iron. Iron was six. So I think this will be it. Good place to stop. So next time we're going to do up some, get some oil processing going to make plastic for the upgrade to the simple um, silent mechanisms machines. I should also do a little bit of travelling. I haven't done any of that for a while. Anyway, until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.